Ah, oh, god damn it. Hello, internet. He's woke back to hyperspeed. The short, I try to speed for blah, 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 whatever. Intro. Fuck. My anus. So, once again, Nathan is here. Yeah, yeah fucking yeah. Christ. He's, uh, he's a bit pissed. Yeah, I think a he just, bit is an understatement. I think he just got summoned into some Blades of the Dark Moon shit and failed. Not only do I rarely get summoned, but when I do, it's fucking bullshit. Every is goddamn your, time. Blades is your sign Dark down now? Is, yeah, my sign is down. Blades of right. Dark Moon is a shitty covenant and it needs to be reworked. But it's never going to be because nobody knows how to fucking fix it. Something about it needs to change. It's an auto summon covenant where you go and you help somebody in need. Someone is in. Like. What needs to happen is like a strength in numbers sort of a thing, honestly. Because, like, every time I get summoned, it's either summoned into a gank, or I'm summoned so far away from the other person, the person who summoned me, that I can't fucking help them out. You should be summoned right next to them. A. B. You should get, like... It just... It really fucking pisses me off. Oh, this fucker. Hello, Hodrick. Oh, no! This is bad. Having to sort through my chest is generally a bad thing, in my experience. Oh, come on. Got your back. Why is Holy Knight Hodrick suddenly a parry king? He all, they made him one. Dumb fuck. Yeah, I'll take some of that, uh, vertebra shackle. Did you kill the big dude? Yeah, I did. When did you do that? While you were being buried. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Nice to meet y'all. So I wish that I could put my summon sign down as a blade of the dark moon. That would be nice. Right. That would be really nice. I'm going to blades of the dark moon because I fucking hate you. Like, it's okay to invade, like, but like. It's not, though. I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's okay to invade, but it's like not. Eat shit. Eat additional shit. Eat all the shit. What's your heavy attack there we go. look like? Like, what's your heavy attack look like? My heavy attack? This? Yeah. It's not two handed. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So that's... There is a thing over here somewhere that I need. There's someone I'm supposed to talk to. Also, there's a, um... Undead Bone Shard over here. I don't know if you got it already. I did not. You'll have to give me a second. Keck. Right. Right here? Right.
The keckiest of kecks. Yep. I'll take me some of that. Oops. Alright, let's fucking do this shit. Yep. I'm ready when you are. I am ready. Oh look, it's my favorite boss. A bunch of little dudes standing around a tree. Best boss ever, right? Totally. Oh, wonderful, the tree moves. Hey, I totally didn't know that. So, this is the boss I like to call the scrotum tree. I call yeah, it that it's, it's, for obvious reasons, but in case it wasn't obvious, oh god damn it. For anyone who doesn't understand why I call this the scrotum tree, uh, it's because your main method of beating him is stabbing him in the scrotum. You get right up between his legs, you take your stick, you take your long bladed metal, your long bladed sword, and you shove it right up into those balls. You see that sack right there? That's the sack you need to hit. You stab him right up in there. You just, you just wham, ram him. Ram it right up in there. Ram it right up in there. And then he leans back like, oh God, that was so good. Like, oh fuck. And then he does this, which is kind of interesting. Hello, scrotum tree. Does that make that giant arm his dick? What? Does that make that giant arm his I'm hoping he'll do his arm attack so that I can get to his arm. Because he's got some weak points on his arms, too. Yeah. He also has a weak point on his back. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. That was a bit of damage. You would appear I've taken a bit of damage. I should really uh, let my stamina recharge, huh? And then stab him right in the scrotums. And there you have it. I'm gonna grab I gotta get items. going too. What'd you say? I will see you later. I gotta get going too. All right, see you later. You know what that means? The rest of this episode will be significantly more interesting because I'm probably gonna die 500 times. 500 billion times. 500 times. 500 times. All right, so welcome to the first actually painful episode of uh. Of hyperspeed. hyperspeed. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Um, actually, the Vort episode was kind of painful. Because I made a fool of myself by dying an unnecessary amount of times to the easiest boss in the game. Well. Alright. Take All right. care, Nate. I shall. I will see you at some point, possibly before the... Oh, okay, he, he left. You're now the party owner. Okay, he left. Kek! 
I'll take some of those uh, souls. Oh, I should probably go level, shouldn't I? Huh. You know, you would think that would be an important thing to do, considering how many souls I have. But it would seem I'm being summoned to another world. And you know what that- you guys know what that means. It means it's time for me to help somebody out. Or maybe hurt them somehow. It's possible. It is certainly possible. Alright, hi buddy. How's it going? That, sorry, that's the wrong emote. I, uh, I have not yet reordered these emotes so that I'm used to their order. Allow me to fix that real quick. I'm just gonna bow. Let me get some of that, uh, healing. Let me get some of that, uh, healing. I could use a little bit of that, uh, healing. Alright, let's go. So as you can see here, this guy clearly already beat Holy Knight Hodrick, which is nice, because I do not want to fight that asshole again. I swear to God, if this is one of those idiots who didn't frickin' do the giant yet, I'm gonna be very upset. And... Looks like it might be. Great. Prepare your kick. Whoop! Nope, he definitely did not do the giant yet. That's honestly the first thing you should do, every time. So I hope, uh, I hope these guys appreciate the fact that Sephiroth is literally helping them with this area. So the reason why I put my summon sign down is, uh, it's gonna pad out the length of this series, which should be otherwise relatively short, since, uh, anytime I get stuck, Nathan can help me, and it gets relatively easy when you have two people. Um, but the other reason is because it's a good way to level. It's a good way to... You gain extra levels for... Oh, great. Mad Dark Spirit. White male. Ha! <laughs> You're a white male! Um. So, yeah, it's a good... <laughs> not, to, not to go way off topic or anything. So it's a good way to level, because you get more points for uh, working with teammates. And, of course, I need to work with some teammates. Hello, asshole! Old meta coming right at ya. Almost got him. Almost got him. I'll take me some of that, uh, kek. This guy is screwed. He's fighting a freaking gang squad. Honestly, like, what are, you, what are you gonna do exactly, buddy? You're gonna keep rolling? You're gonna keep rolling when I can freaking do this? <laughs> well, he's down. That was easy. Alright. Let's go. You're a white male! Sorry. I had to. It was necessary. Oh, okay. I guess that guy was just getting some free souls. Can't blame him. I get some of those too because of that. And you're down. I'll take some free souls. So what you see here... There's a little mechanic I like to call uh, how you fight every boss in this game. And that is, summon a ton of people because it makes it way easier. Honestly, it's how you beat this game. It's the secret easy mode of Dark Souls. Just summon some people. They'll make your life way easier because the boss can't handle multiple attackers. Honestly, like... Oh, goddammit. Seriously? You're, you're really gonna pull this shit on me, huh? You're, re you're really gonna do this, huh? 
This is how we're gonna play this? All right, fine. All right, fine. That's how you want it? Bam. That's how you want it? Well, congrats, you got it. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh my god, that's some bad shit that's going down. Oh, well, I didn't even have to kill that guy. The boss killed it for me. I'm just gonna deal some damage right up in here. Real quick. Then I'm gonna dodge, because he's obviously about to do something. Kill his scrotum. Stab him in the scrotum. Yeah, that's right. His scrotum's down. Prepare yourself. And down we go. Hey, it's the hand. And they get to see it come right out of him. Oh, I'm a little bit low on health now. Okay, for the record, deaths in other people's worlds do not count. It is only the type of death where I lose my soul. That's what counts. For the sake of, uh, doing the thing. Alright, well, that's alright. I just wanted the souls. If you haven't seen that video, it's called Happy Souls. Look it up, it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, despite the fact that I'm gonna say that death doesn't count, I'm also going to actually take a sip of this because I, I, I kind of want to. I haven't been dying all that much because um, using something like a washing pole, you know, a long reach, decently fast weapon is, it makes everything a lot easier in this game. So there we go. Also, um, can we get a death counter uh, in the whole series? I'm sorry, this is retroactively add death counters to the previous episodes, please, thank you. Uh, if you forgot to add death counters to the previous episodes, um, then go get that footage and uh, put a montage right now of deaths and put a counter on that, and then we'll pick up from there. How's that? Charge! I'm sorry, very little. So was that, actually. Hey yo, I guess I actually have to drink something. You might want to do that anyway, because now that I've said it, people are going to want to see it. I just wanted the souls. Alright, so what we have now, we, have, we should have a transposing kiln. What we're going to do with this is we're going to give it to this dude up here. He's a nice guy. I think his name is Ludlick? Luffick? Ludleth? Ludless? Uh, Loveless? Uh... Loveless of Courtlandia. We're gonna give him the transposing kiln. Because he's literally the only person you give the transposing kiln to. It's it that's its only purpose. And then I'm gonna check if any of this thing is useful. Which it's not. Uh, because I'm doing a Sephiroth build and I don't want any of those weapons. So, instead of that, I'm gonna burn these souls for points. And then use said points to level up. Let me uh, get my phone out again so I can check my notes and see what uh, what things I want to level. Because remember I mentioned I have a notes about that. Which should make this process go faster. Of course, it will... It, it seems to be, at this, po at this moment, slowing everything down because I'm taking forever to do it. I, take, I keep having to pull the notes out. So, what I'm, so now what I'm going to do is burn this undead bone shard, which makes my... Uh, it makes my healing items, my uh, Estus, restore a little bit more health. So that's a good way to stay alive a bit longer. I'm going to give her the Martician's Ashes, which I picked up. Um, and then sell her some shit. Uh, like this rubbish, because why would I need rubbish? Uh, Vertebra Shackle, because I'm not going to be one of those. I'm not going to be a... Uh, whatever you call it. Uh, we're gonna grab a... We're gonna sell this Reinforced Club, because who cares? And this Great Scythe, because who cares? Uh, some wooden shields, we don't really need. The Cleric's Hat, which is useless to me. Cleric Robes, and Gloves, and basically the entire set, we don't need, because I'm Sephiroth. Why would I need those things? Now we're gonna go see 
if I can upgrade my weapon at all, which I did do off camera between the last two episodes, in case you didn't see it. I did, in fact, uh, do a little bit of that because, uh, well, it just didn't seem like a necessary thing to uh, include, to be honest. All right, so that's that's done now. And this dude over here, he's going to be helpful to me because he's going to give me something I need, which is this pyromancy flame. And the pyromancy flame uh, is rather simple, what it does. Uh, it allows me to use pyromancies. If that wasn't super obvious, I'm sorry for you. So what I'm going to do is I don't really need any pyromancies right now. Um, I don't have any that I can use, but I'm going to equip that anyway. Uh, does this thing have a have an ability of some sort? No, it does not. I can't. Huh. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I can do that with it. But that's kind of useless. Anyway, um... Welcome home, Russian one. Speak yeah, so I'll use that later, but right now he doesn't have the pyromancy I want. I'll have to Google that later. But we'll see how that goes. Okay, right up here we have... What are we upgrading next? We need 18 intelligence, so until we get to that... We're going to keep boosting that. Farewell, Ashen One. And 12 faith. What's what's my faith at, actually? Faith is at 9, so I need a total of 6 more levels, and then I will have the minimum requirements for everything that I intend on wielding. And then from there, I will just continue to boost my uh, health and stamina so that I get the ridiculous health and stamina that Sephiroth has in Kingdom Hearts. And... Also, Final Fantasy, where he's actually from. I just, I know him more from Kingdom Hearts, because I never played Final Fantasy VII. When I was a kid, that wasn't really, that wasn't my thing. It wasn't the thing I had, you know? I was more of a Kingdom Hearts kid myself. You know? I mean, it's Square Enix crossed with Disney. How can you not love that? It's pretty freaking awesome. Although I will admit, I did not understand in the slightest the characters from Final Fantasy. Um, however, Sephiroth left quite an impression on me nonetheless. Because he's kind of a badass. And he's also really freaking hard to kill in that game. And so I'm Sephiroth. So what I'm going to do now... Well, first, uh, first I'm going to set this down. Because I want to be summoned at some point. Because summoning, being summoned is always a good thing. It always gives me an excuse to get away from the ordinary stuff, the uh, the risk taking and the playing my own file. It gives me a chance to uh, get away and just do some leveling for free. Oh great! Well, I list, I missed the Titanite Lizard, but that's fine. It's not an important thing. I don't really need Twinkling Titanite for anything, so I might for like Pyromancer's Painted Flame or something like that, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure about that yet. Oh, crap. That's not what I meant to do. That's fine. That's fine. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me, guys. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm just getting my ass kicked by a single rat. Not even the large one. Just the regular size one. You know. You know how it is. Okay. Nope. You're dead. And you hit me. You are dead as well, though. I'm being summoned, which again is a good thing, because free levels, hey, why not? Now, I was summoned a lot less in my first playthrough, or not my not my first playthrough, but uh, my New Game Plus that I did, and the reason for that being, of course, um, did I not get summoned? I was being summoned, and now I'm not. What happened? Alright, well that's weird. So anyway, I, I don't get summoned all that much in my new game plus because I am way over leveled for areas. And so if I put my summon thing down, people don't see it who are in that area because they're generally way lower level than me. So, but in here I should get summoned way more. Like I did back when the first time I, I just took a sip for no reason. Don't question me. I should get summoned way more like I like I used to when I first played this game, because I'm proper level for these areas. 
which means most of the people in this area are my level and will therefore be able to summon me. Nice job dual wielding a freaking shield, buddy. I'm just gonna wield a pyromancy flame, which doesn't even have any pyromancies equipped. Okay. All right, so we got some warriors of sunlight here. What's up, bros? What's up, sun bros? How are you? Okay, so we have Magnus, which I'm pretty sure just means large. Or maybe that's Magnum. We have Dark Shadow, which is like the edgiest possible name. But that, I mean, that's coming from a guy whose current name is Sephiroth. And then we have Crystal Neko, who I imagine is like the Crystal Sage's uh, particular uh, furry fetish. The Crystal Neko. Uh, we'll meet the Crystal Sage later. Don't you worry about that. Oh, I'm sure we will meet him. We have to fight him, unfortunately. He's one of the few essential bosses I wish I could skip, because I fucking hate him. He's supposed to be... See, the thing... The reason I hate him especially is because he's supposed to be easy. He's one of the easiest bosses in the game, and everybody keeps telling me that, and yet he's, he's a fucking dick. And I, I suck at fighting him, despite that fact. Okay, you're gonna die because I don't like you. Um, and you are also gonna die, because I also do not like you. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, the host of Ember died. Okay, great. Whatever, we get returned to our own world. That's fine. This is fine. This is acceptable. We're okay. Ring depicting a hand, grasping a blue stone. Let me just use my white soapstone real quick. So my method for summoning is going to be basically place my white soapstone at bonfire, uh, go start to head for next area, get summoned, uh, place my thing wherever I spawn, and then repeat, basically. Oops, I need to actually get rid of that, don't I? Let me go back to two-handing, because that's the only logical thing I can do here. Okay, that, I took way more damage than I should have there. I don't like you. You attack too fast. And you attack for way too much damage. I don't like you either. But you're at least better than the dog. Kekity keck. Kekin my way downtown. Uh oh. I accidentally aggroed all three. That's good. This is a good thing. Don't worry. I planned this. Ow. I planned that too. It was my intention to be hit by that. Hello, goodbye. So you just ran right off a cliff. So I guess screw you, right? These guys cannot be backstabbed because of their boards on their back. Uh, that does not, however, mean they can't be stabbed in the back. It just means that you don't get bonuses for stabbing them in the back. It's kind of stupid, but I mean, whatever, right? No, I'm not complaining. I mean, I am, but, like, I don't need to, is my point. Now, I could kill that guy, but fuck him, honestly. I'm not dealing with that guy. But fuck him. Fuck him right in the butt. So we're, we're a decent way into the game already. Um, if you saw our other stream, if you saw our stream where we played this, uh, the first one, Dank Souls, um, then you will know that... Uh, it took us, like, hours to get to this point last time. And the reason why is pretty simple. That, uh, we didn't know what we were doing yet. But now that I know what I'm doing, I can pretty much actually speedrun this. And I mean, not like professional level speedrun, but like, not take four hours in one area type of speedrun. So what I'm going to show you is a guy, um... You've probably, if you've watched my highlight videos, you'll have seen him already. He's, uh, he's what you call surprisingly fast. Like that. That is what I'm talking about. He is startlingly and concerningly fast. But, uh, luckily for us, uh, he's kind of a pushover when you know how to deal with him. You ready for this? Are you ready, kids? Are you ready, kids? He's not coming. Where is he? I think I ran a bit too fast and he didn't keep up with me. Hey there, buddy. You want to come up the stairs? Whoa. 
You weirdly made the ground a weird texture. Where are you, buddy? So, in case you don't know, there is actually a particular reason why I like this dude. And uh, as soon as he stops being an idiot, I'll show it to you. Nope, 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 keck, keck, nope. Nope, nope, not dealing with it, not dealing, not dealing. Alright, so the reason why I like this dude is rather simple. You just, uh, you just open the elevator, you stand here, and you give him a nice little wave. Um, buddy. Buddy, could you not? Ready for this? Here we go. Ah, oh, goddammit. He's actually fighting me. Alright, he's kind of kecking me right now and I don't like it. I'm being kecked. It worked on the first try last time. And it was really funny to watch. Oh, keck. I almost just did it to myself. Here we go. Hi, buddy. How are you? And then you stand here, and you give him a little wave. Bye bye I didn't mean to sound like Markiplier there, by the way. So that's why I like that dude. <laughs> like I said, a bit of a pushover once you know how to deal with him. Let's get right into the news. We're moving on to what's called the Road of Sacrifices. It's called this because you must sacrifice your sanity in order to make it through this action. Allow me to just recharge my shit real quick and do a bit of leveling. Speed this up. Or just cut it out. Either way works. <laughs> 